Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Brunch Cardinal. Today I'm here peacefully in my nursery. As you can see, I do have myself a Christmas tree. Here we go. <laughs> my room is not finished organizing yet or anything, but I have a index card here with some questions from Julie's tag. Uh, the Country Cottage tag. I will link her video below mine here with Brennan. And he is so, so perfect. So there are 10 questions on this tag. And I would love to participate. Uh, just a sec. I am just going to read the questions from my card. However, Julie does have the questions written down in her video as well at the end of her video so but the tag is called a very merry christmas and number one i'll try not to ramble too much <laughs> number one your number one favorite thing about christmas now i will do this in two separate parts me as a child and myself as a mother of three young boys, although they're older now. But the thing is, the traditions that I've had when I was a child, I try so hard to keep them going. So I'm going to talk about pretty much both, but most of when I was a child. So number one, my favorite thing about Christmas is all the decorations and all the beautiful multi-colored lights i love it and wait so i had a um i was trying to use a, a light to add but i guess it's not too bad right now right it's kind of blinding my eye <laughs> so i think i prefer to have the light off so yeah I'm just trying something new. But anyways, number one. Um, number one, your favorite thing about Christmas. My number one favorite thing about Christmas is all the traditions of decorating and having... Okay, I'm going to be honest here. There is like a magical... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> a magical... Christmas is magic. Now, my mom had a saying that she always told us, and her mother told the same. So my grandma also said the same, but she always said that Christmas is for the kids and New Year's is for the adults. So in my family of history of families, we always had um, the drinkers. So... It was tradition to let the children have the magic of Christmas and that children were the priority at Christmas. And then New Year's was the adults had the priority. So pretty much the same thing uh, year after year was how it went. Is a little too heavy. Okay, it's growing. <laughs> okay. Um. My, f it's just the traditions. Year after year, we love to do the music, the decorations, the people's moods, the presents under the tree, the, the, and it's just magic. Christmas is magic magical and very what's the word <laughs> peaceful happy quiet still and i guess soul searching is what that's a good word soul searching um even when i was a kid just 
the wonders of the world, uh, curiosity, uh, innocence, beauty, caring, uh, <laughs> it's just all of those things. Um, the only thing I don't like about Christmas is all the crowded shopping. Oh my goodness, people are crazy. <laughs> Number two, do you, do you purchase, make, or bake your gifts? Um, it varies every year. Of course, I purchase, but I also make things DIYs, and I never baked gifts except for cookie exchanges. That's the only time I might bake, and he's getting a little heavy again. But I guess it it varies. Um, I love making things, and um, when I have time, I bake things, but I purchase. But little things, their favorite things. Like, I love doing their favorite snacks and their favorite um, my gifts are usually traditional. Like, for instance, my dad, I always used to give him, like, after eights. And if I don't give him after eights, he's like, well, where's my after eights? <laughs> so, tradition is huge in my family. Um, do you have stockings for your family members? Yes, we do. Um, when we have pets, we will have one for a pet. But yes, stockings always. Um, number four, do you enjoy Christmas decorating in any special decor? Yes. Tradition. I remember when, okay, when I was a kid in the 80s. Well, I was born in the 70s. So even the 70s and 80s, it was multicolored, beautiful lights everywhere. Now, this tree is only in white lights. I'm going to add multicolored lights, or I hope to if I have any. <sighs> it's heavy. Okay. I have, to, I have to put it down or something. Readjust. He is heavy. Okay. <laughs> um, oh my card. <laughs> um, tradition. Lots of color. Lots of shiny glittery things you know i still have i have a vlogmas playlist and i do show the ornaments and i've had them since I, the 70s they're old and we take care of them my dad gave them excuse me my was <clears throat> my dad gave them to me when i was like a young adult and i still use them still have them but they were from when i was like a baby and toddler so they are like from the 1970s and early 80s so all the way from the early 70s to the early 80s and i do have um things from my sons when they were younger like so from the early 2000s and on i it's just tradition huge tradition um oh I got distracted. Remember when, I think it was in the 90s, when the first white, like decorated of white lights came out. And I remember feeling, what? Like, it's kind of pretty, but no, I like the traditional multicolored. And then, and then there was a phase of where people use a big wide, wide, uh, ribbons on their trees i mean it's all beautiful and sure if you love that sort of thing then do what makes you happy but what makes me happy is a traditional 1970s tree look and decorations <laughs> so that's me personally um or you know how some trees are like all blue or all pink or all white all green i I don't know. I just like them, the old, old-fashioned 1970s, and I still do that. <laughs> so, sorry if I, if, oh, sorry if you have a beautiful, like, all blue tree or all, 
whatever the new styles whatever makes you happy but um i do have a special decor and it's old fashioned so i i remember like stringing popcorn i don't do that anymore because it just my no my sense of smell is really strong and i don't like the smell like of stale popcorn and ugh. i do have real candy canes on my tree though <laughs> so but um they're still wrapped and i'll never unwrap them but <laughs> um so anyways i'm having um number five do you do christmas baking and if so what i try and do christmas baking it's tradition to do certain things francis really loves doing the rice krispies he's really good at it for me after after you mix up the marshmallow with the cereal my arm is just so tired and here's him <laughs> it's just so easy but um my oh, i'm starting to cough I don't know, I've been dealing with cold for a while, and it's just near the end of it, so, um, my throat's getting itchy. <laughs> Tradition, um, we do, like, lots of bars, um, uh, butter tarts, tradition, uh, lemon, meringue, little tart, um, Uh, <laughs> those haystack cookies, no bake cookies, oh, they're my favorite. But yes, we do have a tradition. Uh, lately, though, when I was earning pretty good money, I would just buy them. <laughs> so, but yes, um, not so much now that the kids are older. So, anyways, tons of cookies, different kinds. I like to try new things, and there's always traditional favorite goodies so my mom last year she gave us for christmas my brother and i there's only the two of us she sent us a whole tray of um our favorite christmas traditional baking cookies and treats and bars and stuff it was really good i want i would i asked her if she could do that again this year so um number six do you have traditional dishes at christmas Christmas meal or Christmas Eve dinner is always a huge turkey. So we'll have like the turkey, the dressing, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, pickles, cheese, um, green onions. Like just my dad likes green onions raw, just dipped in salt. He likes that. Um, I haven't done that at my house, but at his house, he always has it. Uh, pierogies, meatballs, um, uh, sometimes my dad will add ham and always too like my dad will have a Christmas meal and my brother will have his Christmas meal um I don't have a huge gathering at my house it's not my house isn't that big but uh, well neither is their houses <laughs> but um I don't know I normally always used to go to either my dad's house my mom used to do them when we were younger my parents are also divorced so since i was 12 so my mom would have hers my dad would have his and then as when my kids were young um i was start separated since eric was only five months old so uh since then like the kid the boys would have a meal at their dad's a meal at my house and then my dad's and then my brother's house yeah we always visited house to house to house so not since covid though so since covid we haven't been anywhere at all not last year not the year before so but yeah um and another tradition at our Christmas dinner is that we'll have red and green jello, like with the meal. It's so funny, like having jello and then gravy might touch it. I remember my brother would freak if the gravy ever touched his jello. So <laughs> we would always have separate dishes for the jello then. <laughs> Number seven, your favorite Christmas gift as an adult. 
You know what? I love when they remember what I love. There was a couple of years when people asked me, what, what do you love so much? And I said that I love bath products like bubble bath, um, shampoos. And, and then one year, that's all I got from everyone. Everyone got me that. And I'm like, and one year, one year, um, people were asking, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, like sheets, bed sheets. I got bed sheets from everybody. <laughs> so have to be careful of what I say or remember what I say. So now I just say, you know what? Just get stuff that you think that I would really like. My brother usually comes up with a lot of good ideas because he knew me since I was a kid. So, and vice versa so now that we're older adults we'll try and find each other like vintage uh, toys or something like that to give each other and it's always fun so but anything really is like anything that they know that i love and appreciate so number eight what are you hoping to get this year to receive this year just you know, people ask me this year, what do you want for Christmas? And I have everything, money. <laughs> I need money, people. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, number nine. Do you have lots of family and friends or is it quiet? Well, since COVID, like I said, we haven't visited anywhere and no one has visited us except for my sons so um and this year i know that we're allowed to visit while vaccinated but still i'm still a little leery about that so i don't know you know what though growing up as a kid has always been quiet for us because my family all of my family is from ontario and my dad moved us oh <laughs> my dad moved us to northern Manitoba, which is very far away. It's three days worth far away from our other family in Ontario, like southeast Ontario. And there was only my brother and I and my parents and no one else. So I mean we had lots of friends. But as for like people visiting and stuff. No, it was really quiet. And that's what I like as an adult. I mean, sure, I'll go to my dad's, I'll go to my mom's, I'll go to my brother's. But there's only that few hours of busy, busy, busy. And then I just, I'm a huge introvert and Francis is too. So we like it quiet, nice and quiet. Um... Number 10, do you have any special Christmas traditions? Okay, we have lots because Christmas tradition to me is ultra important. And sorry, my shirt just started. Oh my goodness, how long was, was it like that? This is just my lazy Sunday shirt. Uh, <laughs> I didn't change up for nothing. So, <laughs> okay. I don't want the, I'm wearing, I don't want my oils, I have very oily skin. So, um, we have lots of traditions. Um, one of them is the music, it's Elvis Christmas, Bodhi M Christmas, always. <laughs> um, we have movies that we love to watch every year. White Christmas, A Christmas Story, Christmas Vacation, um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, um, Fred Claus, uh, not so much Elf, it's kind of outplayed, but we do watch Elf. Um, oh, what's Mixed Nuts, I really enjoy that show. I have to watch, okay, these are the movies I have to watch. Um, Santa with Muscles with Hulk Hogan, <laughs> um, White Christmas, A Christmas Story, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, um, 
uh how come I can oh Fred Claus um jingle all the way um oh and I recently bought that Rudolph the one from the 80s the Rudolph Christmas but I've never seen it yet I'm going to have to watch it this year so there's like a traditional and same with um Scrooge well Scrooge with uh, Bill Murray for sure that one is a must but what's why can't I find it is it Scro Scrooge yeah the Grinch that's what I'm thinking of but the original Grinch from the 80s the cartoon one I have that too so I have to watch that this year I never did last year I think that's when I purchased it was last year that one is always fun and traditions too of how we decorate and like I mentioned before I do have a vlogmas that in my playlist on my channel so if you check it out that is what I do every year same decorations same ornaments same ceiling decorations um this thing is new for the nursery I actually I bought that from my dad last two years ago and but it's too small that's not what he had in mind so it was cheap anyway so i thought hey i'll keep it because <laughs> i knew that i would want a nursery one day with one so uh the food is traditional um so music movies decorations food is always traditional <laughs> so anyways guys i'm going to go for now um, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here and doing what a fun thing. I, re oh, excuse me. I really enjoyed it. Sorry if I was kind of all over the place. I've been rambling a lot lately. So. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Thank you all for the comments down below as well. Um, in previous videos, I love all your comments. So thank you, thank you so much for making me feel so nice. I hope that you guys are having a great day and I hope that you will have a fun and relaxing Christmas as well. And wishes come true. This sounds Bye guys, love you, much.